Hello and welcome again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 9th of September and this time I have some news for you regarding Apple. As the long-rumoured wearable device, the Apple Watch, has been revealed and discussed at an event in the company's hometown of Cupertino. Now I have quite a bit of information here coming from the event from both the CEO Tim Cook and the Senior Vice President of Design, Johnny Eve, who was present basically in a video narrated by himself shown at the event. So he wasn't there in person, but you get the idea. And of course, I will be going through the comments from each of them. Now, the CEO Tim Cook said, quote, we love to make technology more personal. And he said that it works seamlessly with the iPhone and also serves as a comprehensive health and fitness device. So it will probably have, say, heart rate monitor and we do know that it will be able to measure your pulse and say step counter stuff like that so it can very much be integrated into your normal workout routine now there'll be three editions and two sides of the apple watch now during the video which was narrated by johnny eve he said that the apple watch will constitute a quote range of devices and software watch faces will come with the phone basically enabling you to personalize your device make it look like an analog watch a digital watch or even a mickey mouse watch if that's what you want now as i just mentioned the apple watch will come in three editions according to johnny saying basically the apple watch the apple watch sport and the apple watch edition and the editions are differentiated with several bands basically going from a leather loop fastened with magnets to a sport band or a metal band that clasps around the wrist wrist sorry a traditional strap and link or a stainless steel band and it, for those of you wondering the apple watch edition is made of 18 karat gold so undoubtedly will be probably the more expensive of the lot now tim cook said quote what we didn't do was take the iphone and shrink the user user interface and slap it on your wrist just as like pinch to zoom don't translate to a small device like that now instead, the Apple Watch will include what they've called a digital crown, which is basically a high-tech version of those little buttons on the side of a more traditional wrist watch. Twisting this digital crown using the Maps app, for example, will zoom in and out, and if you click it, it will serve as the home button on the device. And supposedly, according to Tim, the device can be worn all day. Now, Back to Johnny E for a moment, he said that it will include a retina display and the display will sense force which will quote add a new dimension to the user interface. Basically, it will understand the difference between you tapping it and pressing it which will provide access to contextually specific controls. And force sensors on the back will detect pulse rate which of course goes back to the heart monitor thing that I was talking about earlier. It's a gyroscope accelerometer and the information gathered from an iPhone and it will understand your movement and even set goals for you. Now the charger will work in a similar way to the magnet based MagSafe charging cables on their MacBooks and the Apple Watch will charge with a proprietary magnetic adapter that will fasten itself to the back of the device. Now that is all the information available at present. It is still developing story but this is the biggest lot of information I was able to find and of course when we have all the information including the breakdown of technical specifications I of course will do another video on that as it probably warrants a more in-depth technical look um, either from myself or Crimson Rain who's of course the tech more tech savvy out of us too. So very interesting stuff but not exactly surprising of course whether or not you'll be getting it. Um, Kind of depends heavily on the price, doesn't it, really? And, of course, the use that it's going to have for people at the moment. We just have the reveal. As I said, I will be doing a second video once more information is out about the technical specifications and all that. This probably isn't going to be out for a while, so it may even be a while before we even get any technical specifications. But for now, I just thought you guys would be interested in the fact that it exists. So, what are your early thoughts? Personally, I'm not really sure what to think. The fact that one of them is made up 18 karat gold just seems very, just, well silly to be honest but eh, we'll have to see anyway guys that's me done for this video and i'll see you next time